Well, welcome back, Digigang, to another episode. If you are following along week to week, then it's probably been a week since I last uploaded. But for me, I recorded, edited, and uploaded an episode just earlier today. But for a couple of reasons, I decided to record again. I still have all my stuff set up, and it was a really fun recording session earlier, getting to clear out the case board except for the the green cases but it was cool to complete all the challenges and to also defeat the seven deadly sins and now we get to head back into the story and move that further along so i'm really excited to do that and so i just decided to record it's pretty late already but hopefully we can progress the story to a decent point maybe even beat the game i don't know i really have no idea what's left after this but we are going to head to the top floor. I actually should take off high security. Mostly because of this guy here, who we just added to the team at the end of last episode. Um, <laughs> he's got a lot of defense. Don't know how useful that's going to be. That's okay. Mainly we have him because he's a free type. You know, I also didn't even check if he has any further digivolutions. Um, we don't have to do that in the Digilab, though. We can basically check that out in the field guide. Let me look at that real quick. I promise I'm not trying to stall. <laughs> I do want to beat this game. Oh, there he is. Okay, cannot Digivolve further. That makes sense. Alright. Alright, I probably cut all that out, but I also went into his... into Magnamon's settings and basically changed around his moves so that he can have some decent moves. But it looks like I had already done that a little bit, so... I didn't have to do much. Wow, it's crazy how little the XP is. I mean, you think about it, with that technique where we used the Platinum Numamon, we were getting, like, 30 levels every <laughs> every battle. It's pretty insane. Um, yeah, let's just continue on. To the roof. I know we got into a battle already, and... Like, that probably took down some of our health and SP, but... You know, it... I feel like what we're gonna come across right now is not going to be as challenging as the the challenging cases and the seven deadly sins. So I'm not too worried. Um, but if I'm wrong, I'm sure I'll feel salty. Anyway, let's see what Arata says. Huh, <laughs> that punch stung. I'll give you that. That was a really childish thing of you to do back there, but that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Hey, my girl? Question mark? Uh, question mark? That, dot dot dot. Th thanks. Dot dot dot. <laughs> More dots. Do you plan on staring me all quiet like that all day or something? Cut it out, my guru. It's weird and embarrassing seeing that. I mean, I guess that's kind of your thing, but still. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, I have something I need to ask you. Because of all that trouble I ran into, I'm starting to feel like I'm falling behind the rest of you in terms of sheer strength and whatnot. I hate just leaving all the cool stuff to you and Nokia, so... I want you to come with me for a little while. I'll file this as a proper case, so now you have to do it as part of your job, right? Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have something I need you to do for me. I can count on you to handle it, right? I'll make sure to file the paperwork at your workplace. Ah, interesting. Okay, I didn't know there was going to be more. <laughs> um, out of sheer curiosity, I, I just want to go look. Anyway, let's see what this case is all about. Okay, there's one. Boy A. Client Arata Sanada, Place Tokyo Metropolitan Office. I want to settle something from the past. The target is under zero. The purpose is revenge. Okay. Oh, a death barrier. That's good. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's see what he wants. 
So you'll come along with me after all? Great. Thanks a lot, my guru. I mean it. There's only one thing I have in mind for us to do, and that's go out and capture me a really strong Digimon. All the crap I've had to put up with lately has meant I'm short on new Digimon, and that's not good. I'm the least. Besides, I also have some revenge that I need to exact sooner rather, th rather than later. Question marks? Let's get going, my guru. We're going to Under Zero. Oh! I'm sure you remember, but to get to Under Zero, we have to go through the Valhalla server. This won't be easy, but I trust you to get us through. I can count on you, right, my guru? Sure. <laughs> okay. I wonder if we'll have to do the puzzles all over again. Let's see. So we'll go down to the 49th floor because I know that there's an access point there. And from there, I think we might be able to... Oh, sorry. Yeah, here. <laughs> from the Digilab, I think we'll be able to go into the internets, right? Can't we? That's a shop. Digifarm. That's for heals. Huh. This is for PvP. <laughs> and there's mirror dungeons. I don't know why I thought I could do that. Hmm. Okay. Um. In that case. Yeah, let's just go back home then. Can't. Okay. I guess this is the one place that you can't use a home gate. Yep, yeah, so access points. I think some access points let you go to the Digilab and others let you actually go to, like, the internet or whatever. I mean, I know that it says internet connection up there, but it's different than, like, jumping into the digital world. Yeah, connect jump. So here we are in the Valhalla server. Alright, now, um, yeah, I, I guess I won't turn off, like, random encounters. And since I won't do that, then I, I should rearrange these guys to, so I don't have the tank up front. <laughs> Anybody who has, like, AoEs, I guess, would be good. Pretty sure these guys have AoEs. Um, okay. So yeah, hopefully we'll just run into some bad guys and then we'll just use some AoEs to quickly get rid of them. Just to get some XP for Magnamon. Yeah, I kinda like that. There we go. I doubt it's gonna be much though. Yeah. <laughs> One level. Wow. Um, so yeah, I mean, we don't have to solve any of the puzzles, it doesn't seem like. Oh man. I just, I turned on auto battle and I thought he was gonna make smart choices and use hyper infinity cannon, but I guess not. I don't know, maybe the AI knew that they were gonna all go one after the other and that they would take him out in one hit, so it didn't do like a big SP consuming multi-attack because it didn't have to. I don't know, maybe I'm giving the AI too much credit, I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's Arata, so let us... Oh, got a message. Oh, okay. Thanks, Platinum Numan, he sent me something. Actually, both of them. <laughs> oh, and Karamon has a quiz. How many feet does Kentarosmon have? One, two, three, four. I think it's six. I think it's six. Kintarosmon, that's like the centaur looking thing. Oh, uh, the reason I came to items was to actually recover the SP of this guy. And then to save, of course. Alright, Arata, what is it? When I went with some Jude guys to take on Under Zero, we had been unstoppable in Eden up until then. Nobody could beat us. Adults, cops, nobody. We figured Under Zero would be the same way, even with its reputation for being impregnable. But we hit a snag when we got to the outer wall. A security Digimon showed up and kicked our asses. It was a complete and utter wash. Back then we didn't know anything about Digimon programs at all. We were only capable of doing analog hacking, which made us completely powerless to fight back. All we could do was grab our asses and run. Some of my buddies 
They went crazy from the fear they felt there. <laughs> that line, <laughs> grab our asses. We grabbed each other's asses and then we ran. Even the guys that were okay, they saw what they were up against and lost confidence in themselves. The whole... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, sorry guys, I'm a fifth grader. I'm still laughing at what I said earlier. Anyway, um, uh, the whole thing made it vividly clear to us that we were little more than a pack of arrogant brats running wild. We let our pride get to us to the point where we were bit where we bit off more than we could chew. The higher you rise, the farther you fall, and all that. And one by one, people quit being hackers. It was the end of the legendary hacker group Jude. I felt sorry for myself and hated to see it go. It sucked being powerless to stop them from leaving the team. I also had a constant fear in me I couldn't shake. Just remembering that time was enough to make me tremble with trauma. I didn't want anyone seeing me like that though, so I tried to buck up and make it seem like I was fine. So that's why I see this as revenge. I'll make that security Digimon's power my own, and finally rid myself of this regret. I'm not the punk ass kid I once was back then. I'm better than that, better than my past. Now come on, let's go. This is it? <laughs> Sorry, uh, Arata, ha ha ha. So you're still standing guard here. Color me happy. It's nice to see you again. Holy Land Guard Knight. I don't. Who are you? Don't tell me you've forgotten now. It seems that I have. At the very least, you're not in my memory banks. Ha 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 ha. I knew it. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you? You beat us so fast. But I remember. Hell, I could never forget you. I don't understand what it is you're speaking of, but any intrusion will not be tolerated. Ah yes, of course. This is just how it went the first time, too. Seriously, this is great. Wouldn't have it any other way. You're perfect just the way you are. Unlike you, though, I'm a changed man. My legs don't shake and my mind's cleared up now. I've grown up. I'm here to get vengeance for my friends. I'll kick your ass and march right on through. I won't lose this time, not with my friend Maigru at my side here. All right. I mean, I laugh, but what if he's like really hard? I mean, look, he's going first. Okay, let's see. Don't miss Chaos Tramon. Please, you're gonna make me look bad. All right, cool. <laughs> hey, poison works on him. Sweet. Okay. Well, uh, goodbye. Nice knowing you. Oh, he didn't die. Okay. I mean, if it's not this, it's gonna be the... the poison. <laughs> there you go. Alright, cool. That was a lot of levels. Almost 10,000 XP. Arata didn't even get to go. Okay, there we go. You know what? I feel at peace now. Question mark? I've probably been a burden to you guys with the Digimon I've kept with me up until now. But now that I've got this guy, I think I can go on with you all. I want to see this thing through to the end. Haha, <laughs> don't make me say it, seriously. Dot dot dot. Damn it, didn't I tell you before? Quit it with the staring already, jeez. Alright, report back. Let's see what this guy says. I think with that, this case is closed now, so thanks. I'm going to stay here a little longer and think if that's alright with you. Okay, but what was the prize? Like, what what do you get? Like, what was he guarding? Just that thing? Six is correct. You're amazing. Thanks, Karamon. Um, I guess this was it. Oh, whoa. What's in here? Wow. Cool. Oh, <laughs> I guess there are random battles in here still. Oh, okay. XVmon and Angemon, that would have been nice to know. Um, earlier, when I was needing an XVmon. Back when I was doing all those Digivolutions, um, with like, Stingmon and... You guys know. You were there, I think. Um, Alright, let's fly back, or teleport back. Death Barrier DX. I take it the boy's rite of passage is over now? The final phase is at hand now. I hope there aren't any lingering regrets once it's over. 
Yeah, I wouldn't know, Kyoko. Okay, so let's head back now. I don't think I got healed. Yeah, I did not, but anyway, while I'm in here, I'll use the, uh, what you call it, the memory up and cover some SP. Well, that was all the ones I had, okay. Alright, uh, and then, um, so now we have a, a death barrier DX, an extra one, so instead of having the, like, cutting it in half, the chance to get killed instantly, then we can fully prevent it for a Mastamon. And then we can just give the, yeah, we'll just give the, the Master Guard to somebody else. The Master Barrier, I mean. So, yeah, Justamon can have it. There we go. The more protected we are for from those kinds of things, the better, I think. Alright, now we go back up top to the Tokyo Metropolitan Office. I, I, am, I am actually going to activate high security now. <laughs> just like taking that detour to go and help out Arata. I don't know if that was avoidable or not, but... The more I think about it, the more I think it's not. I don't know. At the same time, like, the people in the center, they're like, hey, you know, do you want to proceed or do you want to just stay here and then take care of some other things that you need to take care of? And you get the choice of yes or no. And if I had just chosen yes, let's proceed, then I don't think we would have done that. So, who knows? Alright, now... Here we are again. Okay. Whatever Arata says now. Finally, we're almost there. It's been a hell of a roundabout route, but it was worth it. Let's go. We'll meet again after. All of us are together. Alright. Now what do you say? Alright, you trying to do something about Eden. Each time I tried the methods were off. This time everything's just right. I think we read that already. Um, and then Nokia. Anytime you want to head out, me and Omnimon are ready. This is important. Yep, have you got your tissues, teeth brushed, gone to the bathroom? You don't want to have to go in the heat of the moment. Okay, I think I, it's Omnimon I need to talk to. Um, have we talked, Gallantmon? I've been hesitant to approach you, but as you can see, I was separated from the boy and returned to my own body. I suppose that was ancillary to your plan- ancillary? I don't know, to your plan to save the boy. I owe you, I owe you my thanks, nonetheless. But I stand behind my actions, as does he. I'm afraid we have no intention of reconciling. That said, I hope to see the conclusion you've chosen through to the end. Sadly, with the damage I've taken, I can offer no further help. Please, the futures of both the digital and the human worlds are depending on you. Yeah, I don't blame you, Gallantmon. <laughs> did we jump down? We did jump down. Huh. Okay, sorry guys, I don't mean to keep stalling. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Let's see, Omnimon. Alphamon is right. I've grown very fond of your world. I don't want to leave with any regrets. Once you are ready, just let me know. I'll be waiting here. Uh, yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Soido has his own goals, and I'm certain he's act he's using us to achieve them, says Alphamon. Yuko, still, at the same time, we're using Suido to rescue my brother. Omnimon, to create a new world. That is his objective. Arata, to erase all sadness from all worlds. Everything he's done has been to achieve that. Everything he'll go on to do as well. Nokia, but that... that's not really possible, is it? Maeguru, dot dot dot. Alphamon, whatever his aims, it doesn't change ours. He may desire the creation of a new world, but we're going to stop the destruction of the old one. Alright. Good, now then, let us do what must be done. Yeah. Well, I got to best Cyber Sleuth. I don't think there's a higher rank than that, right? Unless it's 20. Was it rank 19, right? <laughs> I would think there's 20. Chapter 20, From the New World Nokia, this is the digital world? Yuko, this is horrible. Yeah. Narata, and our world is going to end up like this too?
Where is Suido? Yuko, let's keep moving. Yep, let's keep moving. Um, I don't mean it's not like I'm complaining about the music or anything, because the music in this game is awesome. But like, because of how, you know, like, how much of a contrast there is between how the digital world was and how it is now, I feel like they maybe should have made, like, a change to it, don't you think? Like, the music, because it <laughs> feels like everyone's like, wow, what happened to this place? And you got, <laughs> in the background. I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, security. Just, uh, security? Nokia, w what's that sound? Yuko, everyone stay alert! Alphamon, this is King Drazzle 7D6, a genuine King Drazzle terminal. King Drazzle sees us as foreign objects. He's been totally worn away by eaters. King Drazzle no longer possesses any will. I can't hear his voice either. Before us, uh, before us is a wall that blocks our progress. It's nothing but a mere program. <laughs> if it's just a wall, we have to break through it. I'll help. Consider it part of my rehabilitation. Whoa, very buff. When did you get so strong, Arata? <laughs> Who do you think you're dealing with? Way to go. Even when he's not in top form, he's still legendary. Gotta hand it to the original leader of the Judes. To have gotten Digimon that can rival mine in such a short span of time. You're a real hardcore nerd, and something of a sore loser. To be blunt, I'm a little bit turned off. Hey, don't call me a nerd, I'm a geek! And Yuko, what about you? Your personality hasn't changed? Oh, I think he meant to say, like, your personality hasn't changed? <laughs> Alphamon. Sai, you all were the possibility I believed in. You need more self-awareness in that regard. <laughs> Stop talking and fight me. Here it comes! Alright. Nice. Yep, you keep doing that. Don't really think I need to do this, but oh, I'm <laughs> charged up the wrong guy. Okay, that's all right. Oh, way to go! Legendary. Hmm, I had a feeling that would happen. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, sorry for this. Sorry, not sorry. Alright. Is that another thing that... Is there gonna be a lot of, like, instant death fights? <laughs> Just looking at the item that they gave me, it's another master barrier. Anyway, Arata. Ready is ordered, I guess. Yuko. Everybody, look up at the sky! Whoa. Flying squids. Nokia, whoa, what? Are those all eaters? Yuko, it's like they're heading somewhere. No, being forced to gather. Arata, Sudo is leading them, and so that's where King Drazzle's main unit must be. Nokia, okay, let's go! Exclamation point.
while. Nokia, is that the entrance? I don't know if I'd call it much of an entrance. Omnimon, it's a hole worn away by the eaters that goes all the way down to the core. Yuko, then King Drazzle himself will be down there. Arata, but now it's a den of eaters, and what Sudo called the Mother Eater is there. Yuko, question mark? So that... Yugo's memory fragments. Arata, Yugo is calling to us. Nokia, yeah, he's been waiting for us this whole time. Yuko, brother, I'll be with you soon. Arata, alright, let's go rescue our friend. This time for sure. We're all coming home together. Exclamation point. Huh? Oh, I can move. <laughs> Can I go back? Oh, I can. <laughs> of course I can. Well, that's cool. The invisible wall here. Okay, uh, yeah, sure, let's just jump off. I wonder what the point of that was. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Th that's the Mother Eater? Whoa, it, it's huge! How can this be? King Drazzle himself has been completely overtaken and has been fully corrupted. Pseudo, I'm just barely able to hold him back. As expected, the original functions of King Drazzle are being almost entirely suppressed. All the eaters we sent back have incorporated programs that just send out junk data over and over. Even King Drazzle's calculation functions have hit a temporary buffer overflow as a result. Aratan Yuko, like a Trojan horse, like a virus vector. Neither description is technically mistaken. Like the Russian folktale of the giant turnip. Anyway, we need to debug King Drazzle, and soon. Okay, how do we do that? Just beat him up? Oh my, you'd like to return to Tokyo? No, I thought there was no going back. <laughs> then let's head for the Mother Eater. Yugo has been waiting for some time. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, let's just keep going forward. Oh, I can actually activate my, uh, my security. I wonder if there are um, random encounters though. I can't zoom in or turn my view or anything though, so it's. I guess we're just descending, um, descending this uh, this hallway. Probably circles around until it gets to the ground floor, or where the mother eater is. Ha! Ah, nice try. So much for that, alright. Huh? Oh, okay, I was like, is he still there? <laughs> alright. He dead. Let's keep going. So far away! Oh, I can see the other one. It's down there. This is huge. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of, um, I think it's Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I think that's the one. I think. Um, it was one of those games, though, like uh, one of those Kingdom Hearts games that just the world just felt huge. Like, like the maps, like when you'd be running around in places, everything just looked really huge compared to your character. <laughs> oh, I didn't recover my uh, SP on Chaos Ramon. That's okay.
Master Disc? What is that? Okay, I know we've got more walking to do in this enormous castle, but let's just look at that. Um, I mean, I'll feel silly if we've already had that for a while and I just never noticed it until now. But, um, where is that? Is it equipment? Yeah, Master Disc. Oh yeah, okay, I've got like 14 of those. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Dumb. Alright, let's keep going. Now I see the next one further down. Oh man. So anyway, I didn't finish my thoughts earlier about, um, well, or last week for you if you're following along <laughs> from week to week. But I didn't finish my thought about resetting my MacBook to, like, factory reset it. Uh, I just feel like maybe it'll help it run smoother. And, uh, I do want to try learning a new, a new video editing software. The one that Lex uses. All I've heard about it is that it has, like, a really steep learning curve, but then once you get it, like, like it makes sense. And so, I hope I can figure it out. I did learn Premiere Pro. Um, I mean, I wasn't a pro at it, but, I mean, I did okay. I, I was able to edit some videos and look up some YouTube videos on how to do stuff. And it was fine. Wow. Wow. That was a lot of damage. But I had Premiere Pro as sort of like the month-to-month uh, the -month kind of subscription thing. That's what I was doing. And, uh, it was fine. It's just... It started to lag, just like iMovie lags, and even like un like it started to unsync the audio, and um, from the video, and so that was a problem. I, I just iMovie does that already, and it's pretty bad. But Premiere Pro was starting to do it even worse, and so I just went back to iMovie for the simplicity of it. And so I'd like to try out DaVinci Resolve and see how that is. Do I, should I go to the access point? <laughs> um, I mean, like, I could probably just save and, like, recover stuff here with items that I have. I don't think it'll be that bad. I don't think. Um, because I've only been using this one team, so... It's not like all my, um, Digimon are running low on resources or anything like that. Or HP and SP. Alright, so there's the mother. So creepy. I mean, who do I want in my lineup? Mastamon, probably. Just because she can do that damage thing. That move that takes away a percentage of the enemy's health, and then L-Force Vidramon can do, like, the... Um, the buff for speed. Alright, let's see how this goes. Arata, what do you think, my guru? Can you make it? I think it's impossible as things are now. Activity is being suppressed by a large number of eaters. Movement seems to be greatly restricted. Their fighting strength is an unknown quantity, but unknown means we compare favorably for now. Does it though? <laughs> Since one is not knowing what you're fighting, a benefit. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss? Arata, that said, they look like they're ready for us. Then let's attack. Be careful not to hurt my brother. Forceful nod. You're not fooling me, game. I know this is just the first form. <laughs> Alright, let's do some speed buffs. Oh, we get to go a lot before the eat her mother. Um, yeah, let's do a critical charge on himself. And then do a mirror reflection, counter any magic. This thing might use magic, I don't know. Chaos degradation, let's see what your health looks like. 250? Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Um, all right, I'm just trying to get through this first form here. This this can't be it. Okay, there we go. Can you imagine if I had brought it down to <laughs> to zero health? I wonder what would have happened. But anyway, there's this the scripted loss. Nokia, how's this, my guru? Dot dot dot. I'll leave the task of saving Yugo to you. Please, my guru, rescue Yugo. Please save our good friend. Okay, I see what we're doing now. Huh? My guru? What happened? This way. So I'm not standing anymore. Um, <laughs> so this is fine. <laughs> I'm not dizzy. Yugo's memory fragments. I've missed you. I've been so lonely. You came for me. I'm so happy. Happy, happy. Hurry up. I want to see you all. Boy, sorrowful voice. No. I was looking for everyone, looking this whole time. I finally found you. I don't want to be by myself anymore. I want to go home, go home, go home. No, that's not it. Why did you run away and leave me? Did you not like me? Is that why I'm locked in here? Don't listen to that voice. I hate you all. All of you, just go away. All of you, just die. Don't listen to my voice. Somebody find me. Somebody help me. Help, 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 help. You mustn't come here. Eh? Whoa. My guru. You go. You go. Arata, Yuko, and Nokia too. We did it. It's really Yugo for real. Hey, Hugo, long time no see. Hugo, I'm so glad, I'm so glad. Listen to me, guys, if we don't do something, if we don't do something, the world as we know it will be utterly consumed by the eaters. What do you mean by that? I was fully absorbed, imprisoned by them, and I became part of their shared data network. One of my roles was to suppress their activity. Suppress their activity? Yes, I try to keep their rate of erosion down. They have nothing we would call awareness. They store and share data, and by influencing each other, are building a single, unified consciousness. Each individual eater acts as a single part of one group consciousness. And using that unified consciousness network, you are able to appear here and there in cyberspace. That's how you showed yourself before Maiguru and the others. By using the eaters as a terminal, yes. But I wasn't authorized to send my thoughts. All I could do was send fragments of my memories as data over and over again. I had plenty of limitations, but in the end, it all managed to work out. The mental data of the humans incorporated by the eaters is stored within the network, all of it. Whoa, then that means... If Yugo isn't part of the network anymore, the erosion speed will increase without limit. And we might lose all the stored mental data. Even so, that's a condition for evolution. It's necessary for the creation of a new world. The loss of even the smallest world, the birth of even the smallest grief, cannot be allowed. I will bring order to this new world. Yugo, you have suffered and grieved enough. You must be released from those shackles. Da, da, da. Thank you, my guru, for rescuing him. Only you with your skills could have done it. You were a miracle of the old world. Da, da, da. However, do not allow yourself to be surprised. In the new world, miracles like that will be commonplace. 
Oh. Just walking right up to it. Sudo, what are you up to? I will take Yugo's place in the group consciousness. Exclamation points. Huh? What I mean is, I will become the Eater's consciousness myself, their sole driving will. And, with King Drazzle's omnipotent calculations and the Eater's high dimen- no, ultra-dimensional data transmission functionality, my will shall use these things to bring forth a new world. No, you're crazy. Whoa. Whoa, this ain't good. Well, just listen to you. Maiguru, can you pull Suedo back from the brink? Oh, I see. Way to go, Yuko. Good thinking, good thinking. But, uh, but to the point. But, uh, but to the point? <laughs> I mean, we have to beat it first, don't we? You should quit while- Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't get to read that. Eek! My girl? Sole purpose. Your half-cyber body was unstable and has deteriorated from repeated eater contact. The earlier connect jump to Yugo exposed you to serious damage, I believe. That can't be. My girl. Dot dot dot. The next contact will be all it takes to bug your comprising data, destroy it, and erase it. That was all part of the plan. Ark, this is why we can't trust adults. Stop, Maiguru, don't risk it. That's right, if we lose you, another big traumatic event will occur, right? We, we wouldn't be able to recover from that. And besides, we promised we'd all come home together, the five of us. Do you hear me, jerk face? Yes, exactly. Nokia's right. Without the five of us, the mission is a failure. I hate failure. I can't deal with it. So please, don't do this, Maiguru. Question mark? What do you think, Hugo? Think you can follow up the lady's moment in the spotlight? Oh, oh dear. Yuko and Nokia, you guys, what can I even say? Like, seriously. I got it. I understand your confusion. There's my bud. I'm glad you're making sense. I'm gonna start spouting tears of joy here. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. At last I can rebuild the world. I can finally eliminate everything that is crooked, ugly, or sad. What are you going to do about that? Sorry, I had to get close to the, to the TV to read. <laughs> uh, it was like white on white text. It was hard for me to see, so I got really close to the mic by getting close to the TV. Anyway, Alphamon, the new world that Soido desires, that too is one of the choices the future holds. He may likely save all worlds. I feel King Drazzle's presence and will within him. King Drazzle would join forces to create a perfect world beyond even our digital world. There would be many changes. The evolution he speaks of, forced onto the world, would bring with it creation as well. My role could be to watch over this conclusion. But, what do you all think? What do you want me to do? We have to stop Suido. To live in a world made by a madman would be unpleasant, to put it lightly. Yeah, it's kind of where I was thinking, too. <laughs> Arata, let's take the fight to him. We can do it. Yeah, it'll work out, right, Omnimon? I see. All right, let me ask you one last time. What are you going to do?
<laughs> Judgment has been passed. Human children, bow to my will. 